Hi, my name is Peter and I want to talk a little bit about training in Simon 0.4. Through training, you can improve recognition accuracy if you're using user-generated models or adapted base models. As you can see, I'm still using the same configuration that we ended with in our last video, the quick start video. On the left, you can see the mouse scenario and the Firefox scenario, and on the right, we can see a couple of training texts that ship with those scenarios. If you select one of the training texts, its parent scenario will be highlighted in the list on the left. Select Start Training to read the text. Here you also have the option to activate or deactivate Power Training, uh, which I want to explain a bit later. For now, just advance to the next step where you will start the volume calibration. Again, having your volume configured correctly is very important. Make sure it is set to an appropriate level before continuing. Afterwards, we will record all the different prompts of the text one by one. One. You can see I have to start and stop the recording manually. This can be tedious after a while. So if we go back to the start and activate power training, Simon will actually do this for us. So let's try it out. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, cancel, control mouse. And that's it. As you can see, training is pretty easy. Um, after the training is finished, you can see that Simon is now uh, compiling a new acoustic model with this new training data. Depending on your base model, this can take a while. In general, you will probably want more than one training iteration. But as these iterations don't really take a lot of time, this is not really a problem. As I said before, training only affects user-generated models or adapted base models. So if you're unsure about which model you use, you can select Configure Acoustic Model to check it. Here you can see I'm using an adapted base model. You could also use no base model at all. Simon has now finished compiling the model and we're now using the new improved version. Hopefully you have uh, therefore improved your recognition rate. The base models that you can use with Simon are actually generated with a very, very similar process. Basically, we take a lot of training data from different people and compile a general acoustic model. As you have now also gathered some training data, please consider sharing this training data with us to help improve these general models. To do that, you can just select File, Contribute Samples to upload your training data to a general Simon server. Then just fill in a little form to provide some background information about your recordings and then you can upload it directly within Simon. This helps improve the general base model and therefore helps not only you if you use base model but also other Simon users. You can see the progress in this upload dialog. As you can see it really doesn't take a lot of time because the samples recorded with Simon are generally very small. Thank you in advance for your contribution.